Greetings friends and welcome to the Custom Explosion Ability Guide. So the default Dreams assets are totally awesome and I use them all the time. But I thought I would show you a few ways that you could make some of your own explosions in Dreams if you want to make your things a little bit more unique to you. So there's three kinds of explosions that I've uh, figured out. The first type is the Duplication and Animation Explosion, which goes a little bit like this. Shushwang, shushwang. And what's cool about these is that they're really easy to use, really easy to make, and you can layer on the effects like really nicely and easily. Next we've got the duplication and spread, and these ones have a bit more like cartoony vibes. And I like to use like words or symbols for these ones, and it creates a nice like spread explosion. Yeah boy. But you can you don't need to use words or symbols or whatever it might be. You can make it funky patterns or anything really. Next we've got the frame by frame animation which is the third type and these are cool because they're the most sort of realistic looking. They're co they've got quite an intense and detailed sort of look to them. And because you can edit individual frames you've got a lot of control over what it really looks like. But let's get stuck in friends. Ooh, boop, boop. Okay friends, so all of these explosions use paint strokes and the first kind of explosion I want to show you uses a paint stroke using the duplicate and animation systems. So the first thing we're going to do is get ourselves into paint mode, then we can choose a particular stroke if you like, you can choose a color, I'm going to go for yellow, and then I'm just going to draw something like a like circle, not like a complete circle but kind of like a circle just missing the last bit, kind of a crescent vibe. And then I'm going to go L1 in circle to scope out, L1 in square to go into the group, or to go into its tweak menu rather. I'm going to increase the glow quite a bit. Then I'm going to go animation and increase that to something like a thousand. And as you can see now, it's kind of just going crazy. I'm going to put it on pulse. And so now we can see it's doing a nice little sort of circle maneuver. And then I'm going to go duplicates. And I'm going to go all directions, rotational duplicates, all directions. So as we can see at the moment, it's going pretty crazy. You can increase this, the number of copies. That will make it even more intense. And then you'll go loop and you'll turn that off. So now it'll just go swing and it'll just do sort of a back and forth, you know, kind of in and out vibe. So yeah, friends, you can also do things like increase the trail length and see how that looks um, and so on and so forth. But now we're going to go into it again. And now to improve the look of our explosion, we're going to add a few embellishments by using more paint strokes. So what I like to do is once I've got my sort of round explodey bit, I like to have a, a like long bit that kind of just shoots out. So it's kind of just long and straight and it takes the form of this, you know, it does a sort of it just does like an outward explosion. I'm doing a lot of sound effects right now, but I feel like you guys know what I mean. Then you might want to do something like you create a little swirly thing in the middle of it. Whoa. And now let's see what this looks like. So there it creates just a bit of a, a swirly swirly in the middle. Um, I'm not describing this very well at all, friends. But yeah, you must pretty much just have fun. And each like each individual stroke you add will add something new to your, to your explosion. So for example, if we do a zigzag, also be aware, friends, that the amount of strokes that you put in means it'll take more or less time for it to happen. Because we've got animation, it basically takes whatever your stroke is and it will animate it doo -doo 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 -doo, every single individual stroke. So, of course, the more strokes there are, the slower it will go. So, for example, I've got my, my zigzag over here. But if I do one that looks like it's kind of a similar length, but I've sort of taken a lot longer to draw it and there's more strokes in it. You see, it has like almost like a bit of a delayed effect. There's the, I'm actually just going to reduce the brightness a bit, so you can see it a bit better. But there's sort of like the initial zigzag, and then there's this one that comes afterwards. And there you go, friends. So that's the first kind of explosion that I want to show you, which is really cool. So this uses basically duplicates, and it uses the animation system with loop off and just a nice pulse. So sweet friends, that's the first type. Hey friends, so the second type of explosion is what I like to call a spread explosion. And this one is cool because it doesn't use rotational uh, duplicates. Um, it sort of stays whatever the original thing is and just makes a bunch of copies and it kind of explodes outwards. So it's cool because you can kind of make words and that sort of a thing. So I'm going to go into paint mode. I'm going to choose my particular fleck type. I'm going to choose my color that I want. And I'm going to make, I'm going to do like a nice, yeah. Yeah. So now we've got a little we've got a little yeah. 
We can make it a bit brighter. So it's looking cool. Then we're going to go into its duplicates and we're going to say inside sphere. We're going to go spread 0%. You can increase the amount of copies as you desire. Then we're going to put down a timeline. So we're going to animate and put down a timeline and stamp it onto this guy with L1 and X. We stamp it so that if you emit this, the timeline sticks with it and isn't sort of not related to it. So it's important to stamp it down there. Surface snap it. Then while we've still got our little menu open, our little tweak menu open, we're going to put a keyframe here. And that's just our default one. We can leave it as is. And then we're going to put down this guy. And this guy is going to go spread 100%. And opacity 0%. So now, if we play it, and we're also going to say, whoops, we're also going to say, keep changes. There we go. And now it's going to go, yeah, yeah. So it's going crazy. We can make it, if it's a little bit too quick, then we can make it, instead of one second, we can make it like two seconds. And now it goes, yeah yeah and it goes crazy like that and yeah i just like to use it for words but you can literally use it for like whatever you can make it like a you can make it like a shwang like a bit of a circle delete those words i think that's i think that's it all and you can have like shwang do you know what i mean have like a bit of a like a bit of a it, it just gives a bit of a different vibe i feel like it has a bit more like cartoony vibes also it has kind of a bit more anime vibes i feel like um, that you can add to it and so yeah so this is the second type of explosion friends you can have it saying yeah or you can have it a particular shape that you like I just like it because it retains your paint strokes in a bit more of a like clear way than this one because this one is awesome if you don't care about the particular paint strokes and you just want like a dope explosion effect uh, but this one is nice if you want to have like a very specific kind of paint stroke that's getting that's getting copied swing and is still kind of visible alrighty on to the third Okay, friends, so this is the third type of explosion, which is a frame-by-frame -frame animation. This one is really cool because you have control over, like, what every frame of the explosion looks like. So we're going to go modes, paint mode. I'm going to get a nice red color. I'm going to get us a straight fleck. And then I'm going to go into guides and put on surface snap. Because it's nice to use the floors just, just to make sure everything's sort of flat and in line and so on and so forth. Okay, cool. We're going to go frame-by-frame. Then we're going to draw the first frame of our explosion. So this is kind of where it starts out. You know, it might start off as just a little bit of a schwang, just a little bit of a starfish. Then we're going to go next. And now because of the onion skin, we can see the first frame, which is cool. Uh, you know, the previous frame. And we can be like, okay, cool. If that's where the first one is, then the second one is going to be, it's going to be a little bit bigger. You know, the explosion's grown a little bit since, since then. That's looking cool. That's looking cool. Then we're going to go next again. We're going to go to our third frame. Wow, wow. We're going to make it even bigger. It's going to look so sweet. The evil starfish. Then we're going to go to the next frame. And we're going to go shua shuang. It's even bigger still. That's very cool. You can, you know, have some fun. Go a little bit crazy. Have a time. Next frame. It's going to, ah, oh, this is where it's at its biggest. Ah, oh, it's crazy. You can, of course, make as many frames as you want. The more frames you add, the slower it'll happen. The less frames, the faster. Okay, cool. And then our next one is going to be it kind of dissipating. You know what I mean? Ah, it's kind of falling apart a bit. You know, it's kind of getting a little bit thinner. Okay, cool, cool. And then the final frame, it's literally just like, we just got some squiggles left. We just got some squiggles here and there. Just a few squiggles. Nice. Okay, cool. So as you can see, we use quite a bit of, quite a bit of space there. Um, but don't worry if it seems too big because you can just make it smaller. Okay, L1 and square on the on the old painting again. Go to frame by frame and then go back to the first frame. And now if we loop, we're going to see this happening. Cha cha cha. We've got our cool explosion there and it's actually looking very sweet. Um, but I think we'll make it go up to 15. It, or you can you know you can change the speed as you desire, whatever you like. I'm going to make it 15 because that's kind of the the sort of shortest time. So it's kind of one frame equals one sort of a, pff, I can't remember what it is, 13th of a second or whatever it is. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to go duplicates. And I'm going to go, I think I'll go all directions. But now it's this crazy looping explosion is a little bit hectic. So I'm going to go to frame by frame and I'm going to say one. So now it's going to go. Whoop. 
and it goes zip bam So it explodes and then it gets to this point where it sort of freezes. Which is very cool if you want to make any sort of slow-mo looking scenes, or like stop time kind of a scenes. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more explosion-y. I'm going to increase the brightness a bit. I'm going to also increase the amount of duplicates that we have. Let's try again. So that's looking very cool. But uh, the only problem with this system is it's now it's come to the final stage, but it kind of just sticks here in the in the stage where it's you know let's move it up so we can actually see it in all its glory. Ba bam! So it kind of explodes, but it kind of sticks in this final stage. So what we're going to do is we're going to well first of all we're going to go to guides and put on studio lighting so that our, our eyeballs don't get melted, um, and then we're going to go animate, get ourselves a nice timeline, and then L1 and square. Uh, I mean L1 and X, sorry, and we're going to stamp it down like that. If you're struggling to see it because of all the funkiness, you can just go show and hide and X-ray. And that'll make it so that we can go into our timeline, even if it's kind of overlapping with stuff. And then you're going to go put down a nice keyframe. And then you're going to put down another keyframe. Another nice keyframe. And you're going to go... Whoopsie. Whoops. So we'll create a little blend there, which is nice. You can make any sort of blend, whatever you like. And I'm going to go L1 and square, stroke properties, and I'm going to go start point 100%. So when it's 100%, it's basically it makes it vanish. And what does that ultimately mean when we have our explosion? This is what it means. It goes, and then as you can see, it kind of fades away. But uh, it's important to also make it keep changes. And we'll reduce the size of the keyframe of the timeline, sorry, so that it matches up with where the keyframe is. Okay, and we go, bye bye. Uh, bye bye. So it explodes and it fades away quite nicely. And you've got a nice radial explosion that's looking like super crazy and awesome. And yes, friends, so that is that is the third kind of explosion. We've got all our explosions now. And as you can see, each of them are slightly different. Uh, this one is cool because there's the frame by frame one is cool because there's a bit more like manipulation that you can have on it. Goo 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 you know you can make it a little bit just remember that if you change the speed of the animation type you might want to adjust the length of the old um, timeline as well because of course if it's very slow then it's going to start fading out before it's even gotten gotten there but if it's very fast you know it'll start fading at that point and it's looking very nice indeed Okay, sweet friends. So these are the three kinds of animation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them. As we've as we've got sort of in summary, we've got we've got the classic. We've got the the duplicate uh, animation style, which is great. You know, you can have fun. You can add different colors. You know, you can you can have a time. You might want to turn off the old service now. You can add all sorts of extra things in here. You know, add extra colors. Wow, it's just as easy as that. This one's cool. You can you can make specific words or specific paintings that you want to be sort of copied. And it will be done just like that. And it'll all still be clear. Yeah, boy! And finally, we've got the old frame by frame, which is a vibe. Because you can control, control like each frame and make a very specific explosion. Um, yeah, this is just a great time. A great time indeed. But yes, friends, so here we have the three kinds of explosion. I hope you found them useful. And that you might use them in your dreams, because I know I sure do. And yes, friends, thank you for catching out this video. And I shall catch you on the flip-flop. Peace out, friends. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching, friends. I just want to give a massive shout out to my Patreon patrons, or as I like to call them, the Mean Knights. Thank you so much, Tap Giles. Ooh, thanks so much, Tap Sensei. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And Salt Levels Max, my first patron. Ah, ye. Friends, if you want to support your boy and get access to some bonus content, consider becoming a patron. Thanks for watching, friends. Peace out. Mm -hmm.